I'm working on another film now, and a very smart producer connected to that. You know, to what's the we film write. you're working on oh, now? This is a thing with McGee. Um, okay. About oh. NASCAR racers. So is he producing up. the film you're working on no, with no, him, or is, directing him to direct it? That's oh, wow, what say. it's great. It's very, very different from. Is it a comedy? Yeah. Is it a? No, oh no. no. It's, a, it's a. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's it's more. He did a film called We Are Marshall about a football team where the plane did, yeah. the, the plane crashes, they lose everybody. Yeah. It's not. Um, it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't have that melancholy because there isn't. There isn't. You know. That, that sort of challenge. The characters are not facing that kind of challenge, but it, but it's yeah. I, I, probably the best way. It's just an American sports movie, and, it's, and these drivers from the '50s were just amazing dudes, incredible guys, and not you know they were not they weren't pampered stars. These were guys who the main guy we're basing it on, Junior Johnson, is a very famous driver, one of the dominant drivers through the 1950s, won the the second Daytona in uh, 1960, and he was uh, you know quit school at fifth grade. He drove uh, moonshine for his dad. His dad was one of the biggest moonshine wow. producers um, on his little farm in actually in, in the country. And, Are you including and, that in the movie? The oh moonshine? Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, that's Junior Johnson. That's he makes great. he makes moonshine now, but he, now it's legal. Yeah. And you know he's he's got the he's you know he's got the last laugh. And it's, but he was a his dad made the stuff. And Junior, from the age of about fourteen, was driving it. And the economics of it was you had to make you know four or five runs a night. To, you could only fit what you could fit in a car. If you, had, if you did a truck, it was too obvious. You know, a couple of guys were doing school buses and trucks, yeah. but it was too obvious. The best way to do it was in a fast car that didn't look like a fast car. So he got really good at working engines. All these guys knew engines inside and out. Junior is uh, the fucking Mozart of engines. Yeah. That guy, I, I spent a week with him in North Carolina. I, I left being convinced he was a genius. He's just this, like, easygoing, you know, completely unassuming guy. And uh, uh, a genius. What the stuff he was doing with engines was. Was phenomenal. this your idea to do this no, movie, no, or I, they pitched I, it to yeah, you, no, or what? It came to me, my my agents. Um, they knew I've been trying to do a racing movie for years, uh, but I, I wanted to do a. So formula. you're knowledgeable about racing. And, well, this is formula. I, I had wanted to do a formula movie, and I, actually, I may be doing one after this, which my agents are like, right, what, "What is your? <laughs> what is the matter? <laughs> What's with the racing thing?" There's, there's a, there's a it was a phenomenal formula driver called Ayrton Senna, who's a Brazilian guy, an amazing driver also in the formula world. But but that that sort of came after. But I had just been looking for a racing story of some kind, and my agents knew it, and um, they just called me one day with this one, and and I didn't really know that much about NASCAR or about Junior, but by the end of the phone call, I, I was in, you know, and and really we jumped into that. It was a matter of days. You know, I went up and saw, you know, the guys at Wonderland, and, and it was within a matter of days. We were just, all right, let's go, you know, let's let's do this. And they got me on a plane to go see Junior, and that was an incredible, and the guy's 80. And yeah. I mean, you, you, you understand who, who this guy was as a driver. So, I mean, you know, he starts at 14, driving pretty fast, it, you know, so he had to make a bunch of runs a night. And he got he invented the handbrake turn, known as the bootleg turn, which you see in movies all the time. Right, the, right. You know, the, you the, drop it down, the, kick yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Kick the fast it down, and the furious. The yeah. Exactly. He invented that. Well, I asked him. Everybody says he invented it. And this guy, he's the Robin Hood of NASCAR drivers. Now he is beloved in this world. He really is. He's Robin Hood. They love this guy. And uh, so legends have grown up around him. And when I spent time with him, you know, I, I got to actually say so. You know. Think things like so. Did did you did you really invent the bootleg turn? And uh, uh, you know he, just, he looked at me and said, "Well, I definitely used it." <laughs> so I don't know if he invented. He did invent drafting, uh, or at least he discovered drafting in the NASCAR world. That's which, wild. And that's how he won Daytona. He had a slower car. Uh, he had a didn't he didn't have any backing because well anyway to get to who he was I'll, I'll get back to that but who he was as a driver. He would get in the car and just drive the living hell out yeah. of the car, and and he got away from you know he made all his deliveries, made a lot of money for his dad that way. But they could the cops would get on him. There were a lot of cops who really were full time trying to catch him yeah. and the other twenty kids down there who were doing this for a living. And they caught the other guys, but they could not catch Junior on the road ever. He was just an amazing driver on the road. And then one day he heard you know up the up the road there at a at a, at a cornfield. They had a dirt track that some, you know, professional, quote unquote, races were doing, which is nobody was a professional racer. They, they were not yeah. professional racers, but, but they wanted to do a little kind of, 
a, a sort of a, a, a carnival sort of bump it up thing. They they didn't call it this, but they just got all the kids who were driving moonshine. They didn't advertise it as a moon as a shiner race, but that's what it was. They just got all the teenagers who were the badass illegal drivers and said, guys, come and have a race. That sounds like a great idea it's, for it's, a movie. It's, it's, yeah, it's a Do you got a title for it yet? You well, got, it's, what's it's, the working it's, title? It's, it's, the working title is, well, I just call it Junior Johnson. I mean, that, that's really the yeah. only thing that I don't know what we'll end up doing, but Junior's a phenomenal, he's an inspirational guy. He, yeah. He's a pedal to the metal guy. When he got on the track, his style was, you know, gun goes off, put his foot on the floor, and never took it off. He wow. won and won. He won so many races, but if you look at his stats... His wins are just about uh, equal to his DNFs, which is dude did not finish. Did so not he, he would either he'd either come first, blow up the engine, or drive off the track. And he and I I said there were drivers who put up better stats by kind of being a little bit more strategic. Lee Petty, not not to malign the style, but Lee Petty was a little bit more strategic. You know, he, he said, "Well, look, I'm not, I'm not afraid of crashing, but if I crash, I don't win. So I'll, I'll just I'll just take it a little easier yeah. and I'll win." And I, I said to Junior, "Didn't you ever?" You know, this is like this is 40 years ago now. He's had a little time to think about it. You know, I, I, did you ever want to slow down? You know, <laughs> did you ever want to just maybe play it safe and not blow your engine? I was like, no, that didn't interest me. Is this I, is I, this going to be McGee's next movie? Or? I, I hope so. That, 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 that's yeah. the plan. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what they're telling me anyway.